Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today's video I'm checking out or giving my first impressions. I have not looked at this properly so I'm giving you my first thoughts on the application My Mind, um, and I'm very interested in checking it out. So we first saw that Shu Omi covered this. Do check out the channel, it's fantastic. Um, but I actually uh, only just got my invite, so I'm a little bit behind. Um, but hopefully I can share my opinions. Today's video, before we dive in, is sponsored by PipeDrive. PipeDrive is a sales CRM that you can use to secure leads and new business. I will put the link in the description to it, but we'll share a little bit more about it in later in today's video. Okie dokie folks, so here I am on uh, my mind, and as you can see here, welcome to your new extended mind. So I'm excited, let's set it up. So apparently mymind.com is private only, and it's where you can think for yourself and be yourself. Apparently no social features, no collaboration, no tracking and no ads, and no vanity metrics. Okay, so it looks like you can use visual bookmarking to save notes, videos, PDFs, okay. Uses artificial intelligence to work things out. No folders, no collections, no wasting time on organizing, very interesting. Okay, so it uh, pointed me towards downloading the browser extension. You can download on Chrome, Brave, Edge, Firefox, and Safari. So it seems like they're really hot on the old data thing. They don't want it to be doing stuff in the background, um, and it will never apparently access anything else in your browser without your permission. Okay, so here is my mind, um, and as you can see here, I've uploaded an image. The images seem super simple, um, and what's cool is it um, automatically takes the color of the image you uploaded and gives it sort of a very similar background, although you can change the background over here if you do want to. So over here, it's already got some mind tags in there, and I renamed it to Sunset, but you can see here that it's already pulled out quite a lot about the image, um, which is pretty cool. So that's the uh, AI learning inside of it. Now, if I were to search for, say, a lake, um, you can see that it still comes up here. And if I were to press enter on that, I could search even more details around it. So if I wanted a, a lake that has a boat in it, you can see the example there. So if I go back to this view, you can change the view to be smaller depending on how many notes you've got coming in. I already downloaded the browser extension, so I want to see how that works, but let's look at the notes that you can create. So there is a little bit of a sort of keyboard shortcuts here, um, and you can very simply uh, create a brand new note by pressing N. So as you can see here, I could say um, I've got a haircut at the end of the month. Uh, and I could say, uh, I think it's a Thursday, the 27th of August, let's just say. And if I press enter, you can see that it goes into my mind. Now, this super reminds me of, um, for example, Google Keep. It's really very simple, and apparently they use Markdown as well. So if I were to change this up a little bit to, um, let's move it to haircut, and uh, let's go ahead and press done. Um, so the haircut should appear a little bit bigger there. So if I were to go out, you can see the haircut uh, lands a little bit wider. So you can use Markdown, um, and you can see here that they'll give you um, some lessons in Markdown, uh, which is on another site. So there's really nothing you can do when it comes to um, organizing it. I guess you could add a tag. So for example, you could say um, appointments and add that tag in, but it states that it doesn't want you to organize stuff. So I, my assumption my assumption is that, for example, if I were to, um, you know, for example, put in a heading of, um, you know, swimming lesson, I don't know, thinking off the top of my head, and added Thursday the 27th of August, and press save. So if I logically was to type in Thursday the 27th of August, you can see that that appears there. Um, but if I were to, you know, keep it to the 27th of August, as you can see, it appears. So I guess you could do some form of concept like that if you were trying to use this with reminders. But I think this is trying to aim to be more of a collection point versus necessarily um, a very, you know, like a very sophisticated reminders, tasks sort of network. Okay, so if I added simple little sort of bullets, um, little hyphens next to it, um, you can add little bullet points. 
um, and you can naturally uh, manage that. And if I wanted to, I could add, say, the appointment tag to this one um, and add a really nice sort of uh, header to that. So you can add a heading to if you wanted to. Um, you could start, I guess, organizing sort of lists and things like this, but it's nothing that sort of Google Keep doesn't do already. So let me just test like this article. I don't even watch uh, this program, but if I go to the extension and find the extension My Mind, you can see there it's being added to My Mind, and I go back to My Mind and I type in uh, articles, and you can see here that this appears. So what's interesting is it actually just pulls up, for example, the view article article. So it actually doesn't save it like gives you the header, the title. But apart from that, it just really extends it out to, um, you know, for example, like going to another site. So it's nothing really, uh, really detailed there. Okay, so uh, the only other thing I think you could do is have a today card that would allow you to add some of your tasks for today or if you were sort of tracking that. But I really don't think that it's uh, anything past that. I think it's more going to be like Google Keep. Let's bring Google Keep up and see them in comparison. So this is just one that I had from ages ago, uh, planning all this sort of stuff, things for the wedding and all that jazz. Because see the sort of difference. It's I think Google Keep is a bit more organized, a bit more sophisticated than my mind, but it doesn't look too dissimilar. You can add images, checklists, drawings, and begin to find them. And I can imagine Google aiming to add some sort of uh, feature where you can. Uh, analyze the image and what's coming up. So do I have any images? Um, maybe this one here, let's see whether that is scannable. No, it's not. So they probably add that in the future. As you can imagine, checking out a fair few applications at the moment in this sort of realm, it doesn't have anything too advanced in it. It's good that it's private. It's good that it's got no external sort of aspect of it. And I guess it would be cool if you were adding images I guess articles and things like this, and naturally the ability to not organize and have a powerful search at the top is useful, but I really don't think it's anything too incredible. Um, maybe it's early days and maybe it's still very fresh um, off the minds of the creators, but at the moment I think it's got no sort of massive power, nothing that you wouldn't see in applications like Google Keep. So in terms of the review, I'd probably give it a, a Four out of 10, um, I feel really brutal for saying that, but at the moment I don't think it's refined as I can imagine that I did see a lot of sort of stuff being posted about this. I definitely think they've got their branding on point and they've got their sort of concept really down to a T. I, I really like the concept because it's getting there, but at the same time, it needs some strength in it, I think, to be able to really utilize it. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe I'm going to check out some more videos, uh, but folks, I, I'm not as impressed as I am normally with applications um, like this. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do check out Pipe Drive. Um, I'll include a little bit of a trailer about it afterwards, uh, but thank you for coming along today. Please do subscribe, and here's a little bit more about Pipe Drive. Are you in a sales team? Do you manage sales leads? Are you in charge of the sales pipeline? If the answer is yes, then you'll need to know about Pipedrive. Managing leads, keeping track of communications, and managing processes can be overwhelming. Pipedrives make sales simpler with a host of features to help you stay on top of all the new leads and conversations. Let's hone in on a feature. Pipedrive's Lead Booster feature is a customizable chatbot that you can add to any page of your website. Lead Booster will engage visitors to your site and send qualified leads direct to the right person in your sales team. Now, 90,000 companies use Pipedrive and deals worth a combined total of over 24 billion have been closed on the CRM software. It's one of the best sales tools for managing incoming leads out there. I used Pipedrive at a previous company I worked with and it was super easy to get on with. There's plenty of ways you can optimize it even further. There was a chap at our work who dug really deep, setting up some fantastic workflows and educating me in the process. Now Pipedrive aims to be your one-stop sales hub. You can learn more about Pipedrive in the description below and start winning deals for you and your team in this easy to use hub. 
you can go to pipedrive.com slash keepproductive to find out more about Pipedrive.